All right, all right, all right. Is it seven o'clock? Good morning, good morning, good morning. And happy Friday to you lovely people. Yes, yes, yes. Let me see something, make sure this is right. Hold on. Sorry. All right, trying to get all that off. There we go. I think we are in business now. Yes, yes, and yes. Good morning, Tish. Good morning, Nay Nay. Honey, Betty, how are you? Tanisha, all you lovely people. That is in the room. I truly appreciate you, lovely folk. I do, I do, I do. All right. Is it seven o'clock? I think it might be. Happy Friday to you lovely people. Happy Friday. And for my superstitious people, look at it this way. It is not a bad day because it is Friday the 13th. Look at it. Flip it. Think positive. Let it just be a warning. Just look and say, okay, I need to pay more attention to my surroundings. If you are a superstitious person, okay? All right. Good morning, Charles. Stephanie. Hey, guys. How you doing? All right, we're going to talk about forgiveness. Yes, forgiveness, forgiveness, forgiveness. Have you ever been in a place where there has been someone that you didn't forgive? You kind of like let it go and you thought that you forgave them, but you really didn't. And the reason that you didn't forgive this individual is because they never apologized for them doing you wrong. Hmm. I give you a moment to think about that. All right. Now, you will constantly hear over and over, forgiveness is for you, forgiveness is for you. Um, yeah, and I'll go into a little more detail um, as far as that goes. Um, when you, um, and I don't want to say hold a grudge because it's really not a grudge that you're holding against that person. You're just not comfortable. You just don't trust that individual. You may have just like let it go and said, you know what? I'm just going to let it go. I'm not fooling with them no more. But... It still affects you. Mm -hmm. It does. It affects you health wise, physically, like your blood pressure. You get all tense. You can't sleep, messes up your sleep pattern. There's a lot of things that kind of go into play when you don't forgive someone and you're still holding that there. And I don't think that the person that actually did you wrong, if you were done wrong, I think they're like, okay, well, we got past that and we're just going to let it go and act like it didn't happen. Well, friends, I'm going to tell you, no, that person still remembers. And they're like, um, no, that didn't work for me. And if you give me an apology, I'll probably feel a lot better. And even though you've moved on or you think that you've moved on and you're like, I'm not fooling with that person, like I said earlier, it still affects you. Let me move my cup out the way here. Sorry. It still affects you. And like I said, it, it affects you, you know, even like medication, the way you metabolize medication. When you see somebody, you'll be like, oh my gosh, what is going on? I hope I don't get an ulcer because that is actually bothering you. Hey, Lynette, how you doing? Hey, Ra, I see you, girl. And it does affect you. It does affect you. And you're like, okay, well, I think I'm okay. Forgive, forgive, forgive. However, you need to reach out to that person that you feel that did you wrong. You need to reach out to them and say, hey, listen, I feel as though that you did me wrong. And I think, I think that you could give me an apology. You're right. Yes, forgiveness is for your own self. But here's the thing. It has to be addressed because some people may not think that they did you wrong. They may not be like, oh, wait, what happened? They may not even know you have to address it when they say address the elephant in the room, you have to address it. And then those people, like if you, if they allow you to vent, let, let, let me get on going here. Okay. And forgiving yourself, maybe, you know, you might be in that place where you didn't forgive yourself for something that you did. But here's the thing. If you have an issue with forgiving yourself, so I'm gonna touch bases on three different things. Okay. If you have, if you have an issue forgiving yourself, just, just acknowledge, acknowledge the mistake that you made. Okay. If you've done somebody wrong, just acknowledge it and give yourself permission. Hey, Janet, give yourself permission to pretty much just like 
if you feel as though you can, it's too much and you can't deal with it right now, to put it on hold and say, okay, let me reevaluate some things and see how I'm going to come out and say, okay, well, I wronged this person. Hey, Kevin, Kevin in the building. And say that I've, you know, I've wronged this individual or I wronged myself. So just allow yourself time. Give yourself permission and acknowledge the mistake that you made, the error that you made. And there is people out there that actually have done people wrong and those people don't know. And then you're being, um, you're convicting yourself. Just let it go. Go up to that person. Be like, hey, how you doing? I have to apologize. If you know, and they probably don't even know, just say, I just have to apologize and just clear your conscience. Just get it out. Now, if somebody has wronged you, yes, it is. It's hard to forgive others. You gotta have that pep talk. Like, okay, I'm just going to let it go. And they always say it, let it go. But before you let it go, you have to acknowledge the way that you, they made you feel. Address the elephant in the room. I can't say this enough. Hey, KJ, address the elephant in the room. Let them know. Say, hey, I just have to just put this out here. This is the way I felt because I'm going to tell you, it will harm you physically. It will definitely harm you physically. If you're sitting there, you're holding on to something that person don't know if they've wronged you and they know they wronged you and you just didn't say nothing. Just go ahead. Not that you're trying to pick a fight or anything. Just say, hey, listen, I have to tell you how I feel, how this made me feel when you did this. Just get it out. Get it out. And then you have to say to yourself, OK, I can and I will. I'll move on. I'll move on. But. Before you move on, and I hate to use but because it kind of just throw everything out that I said prior to the word, but before you move on, you have to address it. Address it and say, and I, how about we don't use but, and I'll move on. This is how this made me feel. You did this to me. This is how this made me feel. And I'm willing to move on. And like I said, sometimes you just want the acknowledgement the apology, even if they're, if, even if they have an issue with apologizing, because some people have an issue with apologizing, just acknowledge that you did me wrong. Don't give me excuses as to why this happened, why you acted inappropriately. Stop with the excuses. Excuses are monuments of nothing. Just say, you know what? I hear what you're saying and be that listening ear, be that listening ear, because guess what? When that person is coming to you to express that and they want to forgive you because again, they say forgiveness is for you, but you have to address it instead of just pushing it up under the rug. Hey, Lamar, Murray, Murray, Murray in the building. Hey, Kev, I saw you, the other Kev. Just make sure that you address it. And it's a way that you do things. Okay. Don't just go rah, rah, rah. And no, but like, we need to have this conversation. I've been dealing with this so long, so many years or so many months, and I just need you to listen to me. Uh, rebuilding that trust, rebuilding that trust. That's a hard thing. I don't know who, who needs, to, look, who needs forgiveness, either you or the other person or whoever the recipient is. However, when you rebuild that trust, if you hurt someone, just apologize. Like I was saying, just go up to that person and say, I apologize. Even if they don't know that you did them wrong and you did them wrong, just go and apologize to them. If somebody comes to you and say that you bothered them and it wasn't intentional, apologize to them. I'm sorry I made you feel this way. Don't make excuses because remember when they're coming to you, they're coming to you for their closure. It's, it's their closure. And for you too, you might not even know. You like what? Because you know, some of some of us is kind of petty. Be like, uh-huh, I ain't like her in seventh grade because seventh grade. Well, why don't you like her? Oh, I forgot. Hold on to that for real. Let it go. Let it go. All right, you have to know the details. That's why I said just, you know, when you're rebuilding trust. When you're rebuilding trust with someone, some people are like you cross me once, you'll never get that opportunity again. But you want you want to be free. You want to free yourself. Get the details. See what happened. See what happened and say, okay, I did not. That is that was not my intention at all. And I apologize for making you feel that way. And vice versa. Maybe there's somebody that hurt you and you they don't know. Go up to that person. And explain the details of what happened. Be aware of your feelings. You got to know, like I said, that's really important. Be aware of your feelings. Trust yourself that it won't happen again, too. So don't let yourself, you know, don't allow yourself to be a doormat. That's not what I'm saying. 
All I'm saying is say, hey, this happened. A good friend of mine, her grandmother said it. Once you see one red flag, it's usually a parade to follow. Listen, you trying to be in the parade to march your band? Do, 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 the flag line. Okay? Listen, pay attention. Pay attention and be receptive. And don't be on the defense if somebody comes and say, hey, you know what? You did this to me and I was really offended. Don't be on the defense. Just hear them out. Get the details like I was saying before. Um, a picture is worth a thousand words if you want to rebuild that trust. You know what I mean? Somebody, you could talk me to death, bah, 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 but a picture is worth a thousand words. Let me see that you've changed. Um, like I said, you, you want to hear the person. Be an active listener. That's important. Just listen. No rebuttal. Just listen, because that person may genuinely be really hurting and you had no idea. And it could be something that's really, really small that turned out so big. And then once you guys communicate, you'd be like, oh, is that it? Oh, is that why we weren't talking for so many years? That wasn't my intention, sis. That wasn't my intention, bro. So you want to do that. Accept responsibility if you did do someone wrong. Just be like, you know what? I accept that. I hear you. And I'll accept my part. Don't go with the but and you did no let it go let it go okay um be patient be patient and this is on either side if you are the forgivee or the forgiver just be patient be patient i know some of y'all be like no nah, they hurt me like 10 years ago how much more patient do i need to be male oh, i ain't trying to do that and i just have to ask you are you being held captive because some people won't say nothing and you might find yourself being held captive by invisible restraints that you are holding on yourself that's why you know like i said you've heard it where they say forgiveness is for you forgiveness is for you if you forgive that individual because you just let it go and you're not tensed anymore like i said it will affect you that's why you want to forgive somebody it's necessary to forgive people it truly is because you don't want to be physically affected like I said, your high blood pressure, somebody that you feel like, uh, they wronged me, I'm mad, I'm blah, 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 blood pressure high, ulcers, you can't sleep because it's bothering you depending on what it is. Even if it's a relationship, if it's a relationship that you're in and you feel like somebody wronged you and you're waiting on him or her to apologize for what they did, keep on waiting because they may not ever come back. But when they say forgiveness is for you, yes, you can forgive that individual and just remember if you see one red flag, it's usually a parade to follow. So you don't want to see that again. And if you're in a new relationship and you see those same signs, why do it? Why move forward? Even though they always say, and I hear people say it over and over, you don't want to bring that baggage from the last relationship. No, I don't want to bring that baggage. However, I do have souvenirs in my head and that looks familiar. So with that being said, don't step into it because you remember how you were hurt. So I'll run through these really, really fast. If you're trying to forgive someone, if you're trying to forgive yourself, just acknowledge your mistakes and just look at it and say, okay, am I ready for whatever it is that you've done? Maybe you weren't like the, the best that you could be. Okay. And it's like, okay, well, I'm not in that place anymore. So don't try to hold. And that's another thing too. Don't try to hold people captive for what the decisions that they made in their past, because that's not who they are. Who they are is who they are today. OK, they may have made bad, you know, bad decisions. They may have made bad decisions. They may have made mistakes in their past. And that wasn't the mother or the father that you wanted. Hey, good morning, Kim. Good morning, Tia, Cliff, all y'all lovely people. That wasn't the parent that you wanted. And you feel like they could have done a better job. Parents, listen. If you have moved forward, and you heard me say, if you have moved forward, if you have moved forward and you're not that same person, maybe you had a dependency problem or something like that. I'm just here to let you know right now. Don't worry about what happened then. Forgive yourself, okay? Acknowledge you made some errors. Just go to your children and just say, you know what? I apologize. I could have been a better parent. Don't make excuses. Just say, I apologize. Because you already know I could have been a better parent. You sit down, write it down. Write it down. Take some time. Allow yourself. Give yourself permission to say, okay, I'm going to apologize because I know I could have been better. Hey, look at there. Sorry about that. Let me turn that off. That's it's 715. That is my time. So I want you guys to um just just live for today. Not yesterday. You want to remember yesterday. You know what I mean? But don't don't harbor them. Don't look in that rear view too long. 
look forward. So like I was saying, for forgiving yourself, that's for like the parents or somebody that you've done wrong or you felt like that you could have been better. Just go ahead and just acknowledge your mistake, write it down, uh, give yourself permission to hold on and just make sure that you write it the right way. You know what I mean? And look at it and say, okay, I need to deliver this. That, Like I said, the other person, the party that you want to apologize to that you may feel like, or they may not know that you did them wrong and you feel convicted, just sit down and just talk to them. You know what I'm saying? And just say, you know what? I apologize. And again, if you were that person that offended somebody, when they come to you and they give you the details of what happened, don't be on the defense because clearly it's bothering them. And that's why they came. Just be an active listener. Just be an active listener. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like I said, a picture is worth a thousand words. You sit there, you look and you see it. You'd be like, oh, I affected this person. I truly apologize. Okay. Um, accept responsibility for what it is. I, and I, I'm a good one. I apologize. You know, if I hurt you, that wasn't my intention. Okay. It doesn't mean that you like, oh, well, I need this. Nobody wants a battle. Come on now, it's 2019, about to be 2020. Ain't nobody trying to fight no more. Anybody trying to go to jail. Love, peace, and harmony. All right, lovely people. That is my time. I thoroughly enjoyed you as I do each and every single Friday. Thank you guys for tuning in to be inspired. Ding, ding, ding for the new people that's on there because I see you. Um, Check out the YouTube, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, all that lovely stuff. And you know what? If you go to the author Mel Ross page, you'll have all of the Be Inspired on there. Uh, YouTube, you'll have that. Hey, Derek, uh, on the YouTube Shop Talk with Mel. Do that. Like me. Follow me. All that lovely stuff. I truly, truly appreciate it. Hey, find you. Embrace you. Most importantly, always, always love you. Until next week, people. Be inspired right here every Friday, 7 a.m. Your girl got it for you. And keep those inboxes coming because whatever you want to talk about, shoot it to your girl. Also, catch us on us, Spreaker.com podcast, Shop Talk with Mel. Google Shop Talk with Mel. You'll find me, okay? If you're like, hey, Mel, I don't even know when you come on. You can check out the old shows. You can call in live, voice your opinion because we get it down. Y'all already know what it is. Straight talk, no chaser. We keep it 100, all right? All right. I love you guys for listening. You have no idea. Thank you. Peace. And tell your friends about it. And if you feel like this video helps somebody, be sure to share it. Share it. Okay. And if I have offended you by going over the seven, the 15 minutes to 715, please, please, please accept my friendly apology. All right. Bye. Peace.